All right, on to the next. This is the day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing and I'm glad in it. Well, now I am working on a suit that one of the mothers at my church gave me. It's been a while. It's like um, you have nothing to do and then you have tons of stuff to do. And I kind of got this when I had tons of stuff to do. We had some hiccups along the way. Life happens, my pastor's death, so forth. Um, and kind of got behind. But this is the suit that I am working on now. And as you can see, I've got my um, clips on it. Um, she, This is how long it was. And um, she wants, we measured it. And this is going to be the new length. Well, I'm not going to cut it on this line. But this is the way it's going to look when it's done. So I think I'm going to give myself about an inch. Um, I'm about to undo the lining. So that it's not rumpled up. So I'm going to give myself about an inch so that I will have a hem at the end of the day. So um, I'm just putting it on Thelma to make sure that it's even all the way around. I buttoned it up um, so that I can make sure that it's even all the way around. I'm going to double check and double check and double check to make sure that that is the case. So this is the before. Again, I'm going to allow myself about an inch seam allowance so that once I start to hem it, um, this is the length, but of course you wouldn't cut it here because then when you put your seam allowance in, it's going to be shorter. So I'm folding it to get my actual length that it's going to be. Allow myself a one inch seam allowance. So um, I'm going to give it one inch seam allowance, cut it around. I've got to undo the lining so that everything matches up and this is going to be the new length. Again, my anthem. Contact someone you haven't spoken to a while. I was talking to one of my um, church members at my other church, and she has um, a um, member of her family who is not well. And he basically has given up on himself. But when she went to visit, he lives in another state, she said he perked up. It was like he had a new lease on life. So you don't know what visiting, giving someone a call will do to them. Um, sometimes we all, I have hiccups in my life where I feel alone like no one cares. And just a simple phone call random from a friend can just put the ray of sunshine. I know the Bible says sometimes we have to encourage ourselves, but sometimes we also need that human touch, that call from someone at random that also lets us know that we are important and that can make all the difference in the world so reach out and touch someone like I said we can make this world a better place we can it's not if you can we can but we've got to make that first move all right and here is the reveal of the white suit Okay. jacket had to be taken up as well it was too long um, and there's the top also when she wears it to church I'm praying that I'm there and um, we'll get to see her in her glory it really came out nice all right you guys this is the day the Lord has made I am rejoicing I am so glad in it pick up the phone send a text Give someone a call that you haven't spoken to in a while just to let them know that you've been thinking about them. You know, this world is crazy and tomorrow's not promised. Um, I've lost so many friends within the last couple of months, within the last, I'll say, six months. And it's unexpected. You do not, didn't think it would happen. Some people did not hear the alarm clock this morning. So that song, Give Me My Flowers While I Can Yet Smell Them, it is so true. Just reach out and touch someone. We can make this world a better place. I know it sounds cliche-ish, but it's true. One person at a time, you guys. Think about the days that you just feel ugh. You know, like you just feel ugh. Like, you know, blah. You know, but then you get that phone call from that special person and your day just brightens up. So do the same for someone else. Alright, this is Annette with Rift Aware by Nettie. If you like what I'm doing, again, I don't profess to be a professional. I just do what I like to do. I'd rather go across the street than up the hill, around the corner, and over the mountain she goes. I just love DIY. I love taking things 
revamping them. I love doing alterations. Just like sharing what I love to do with you. So if you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you hit the bell, every time I post something, guess what? You will be notified. If you like it, share it. Post it. All right? All right, you guys. Have a great one. Until later. Peace.